What's indelible in many of our minds is when you had to sit and endure your commander in chief, your boss, tell the American public that it might be a good idea to ingest disinfectant or use UV light in places we don't think about to kill the coronavirus. And you talk about it more in your book, Silent Invasion, which we'll get into. But as a woman in a position, and you made it to the rank of colonel in the military, and we know that that is command. There's a chain of command. So remind us again what was going through your mind and what you did to correct that information. You know, first and foremost, and I I think this is such gender discrimination in our, um, I would say in our media and throughout our communities, President Trump's back was turned to me and he was talking to a male, (laughs) a male DHS scientist, Dr. Bryant, who was encouraging him in this line of thinking. And I think you all can see my face and I'm looking at the ground. And I believe when you're listening to people, you should be looking at them if they're looking at you. So clearly, President Trump's back is turned to me. He's communicating to this male who is a basic DHS scientist. You would never know that that is actually what happened because everybody plays it differently. And if you play the sound, which most media have cut out, you can hear a male voice in the background encouraging him. That said, when you're confronting leadership, particularly senior leaders, and I've had to do that throughout my lifetime, you do that in private. Wow. You don't do that in public because the first time you do it in public, you lose the ability to ever get your message heard ever again. So yes, after the of course, I said it was not a treatment in the moment, but afterwards made it very clear. And, you know, by the next day, the president said he was joking. <laughs> um, so clearly in that moment, he was not joking. No. But it means that he got the message. <laughs> yeah.